quick little Ruby tip for you today. Um, I wanted to add a test for the noticed action cable delivery method where we could test to make sure the correct default channel and default stream were set correctly. And right now we have a test for this where it actually does the entire thing. It's more like an integration test almost where it covers everything. So it actually sends a message out and uses the action cable test um, helpers in order to check and see if that message was broadcast. But I would like to do something that is more of a unit test that just says, let's check the default channel for it. And we can assert equal that the noticed notification channel is the delivery methods channel. If we set the configuration, I've got a little helper here for the test suite um, to simulate configurations that a user might set up. Um, so this one is like, what if the user gave us nothing? Uh, it was just an empty hash. Well, we would want to be able to just check that channel and that's all we wanna test. We don't wanna test the entire deliver process. Um, and so this, if we were to run it, is going to fail because we have no way of accessing this channel local variable here um, because it is a very simple setup. We didn't really need to do any extraction for this. It works just fine. But if we were to take this line and we were to extract it into a method, then we have the ability to access that in our test. So instead of getting that error message for undefined method channel, now that we've extracted that to a method, we can access that and write a unit test for it. And you'll notice that our code, uh, all of our tests pass, but also our code is exactly the same because we use that local variable just for this one little uh, reference here. We can make that, extract it, and we don't modify it or anything. We're just looking up a value either from the configuration, we're gonna grab the constant there, or give you our default constant. So not only do we get a really clean, precise test, but our code is a little bit more organized as well. And we can do the same thing for the stream and extract that out to its own method. And that is going to end up like so. And because message is a local variable that's only really referenced here uh, and doesn't have a fallback, it's a required option you have to give us, we can just um, put that in line and we have now simplified deliver into a one-liner and if you want to understand how this works you can read through it and then dig into the pieces that matter as you go so the channel uh, where do we find that well we go to the China channel method and we either fetch the constant from the configuration or use our fallback value here same thing applies to stream but notably our test can be very precise test exactly what we want and nothing more, which is very handy. Um, and we can do the same thing for another test for the default stream um, with a little bit extra uh, setup because that will actually use the recipient. So we'd have to initialize that and everything else with fixtures. But um, this is you know, a really nice way of extracting a local variable into a method for the benefit of tests, but also if someone wanted to build their own custom action cable delivery method that just inherits from this, but uses maybe a different fallback value, they could now inherit from this and override the channel method instead of the entire delivery method uh, or the deliver method. They would have had to override the whole thing, set up the instance variables or the local variables and re rewrite that entire thing. Now they can just override a single method and make their changes as needed, which is pretty handy. So, uh, you know, refactoring those local variables out into methods, you will see all the time in the rail source code in gems and all that stuff. Um, but you will often write that simpler version as your initial uh, implementation of a feature, and that works just fine. But you can go back and refactor your code and extract those things out and make it more organized so you can test it better and extend it better as well. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.